Anthony Declan James Tony Slattery is an English actor and comedian. He has appeared on British television regularly since the mid-1980s, most notably as a regular on the Channel 4 improvisation show Whose Line Is It Anyway? His serious and comedic film work has included roles in The Crying Game of Peter's Friends and How to Get Ahead in Advertising, Early Life and Education. Slattery was born in Stonebridge, London, into a working-class background, the fifth and last child of Irish immigrants, Michael and Margaret Slattery. He was much younger than his sister, Marlene, and his triplet brothers, Christopher, Michael and Stephen, and he tended to be a loner. In his youth, Slattery represented England in under-15 judo, achieving a black belt before he was 16. He was educated at Gunnersbury Boys Grammar School in West London and won a scholarship to study modern and medieval languages at Trinity Hall, Cambridge, specialising in French literature and Spanish poetry. At the University of Cambridge, Slattery discovered a love of the theatre, taking delight in making people laugh. He met Stephen Fry, who invited him to join the Cambridge Footlights. Other members at that time included Hugh Laurie, Emma Thompson, Sandy Togsvig and Richard Vranch. In 1981, Slattery, Fry, Laurie, Thompson and Togsvig won the inaugural Perrier Award for their review The Cellar Tapes. The following year, Slattery was made president of the Footlights. During his tenure, the touring annual review was Premises Premises television and film career. Slattery first broke into television as a regular performer on Chris Tarrant's follow-up to OTT, Saturday Stay Back, while also appearing for children in Behind the Bike Sheds and the Saturday morning show TX. By 1988 he was a regular on Whose Line Is It Anyway, starred in his own improvisational comedy series, s and alongside Mike McShane and appeared on other panel quizzes such as Have I Got News For You. He was a regular on the TV version of the quiz show Just A Minute and was also on the radio version several times, including the live version held at the Edinburgh Festival. As a dramatic actor he has appeared in The Crying Game of To Die For, Peter's Friends and The Wedding Tackle. At the end of the 1980s he became a film critic, presenting his own show on British television, Saturday Night at the movies. He also appeared in the ITV sitcom That's Love with Jimmy Mulville. Other TV appearances include The Music Game alongside Richard Branch and as a regular guest with both Ruby Wax and Clive Anderson. He has also been a regular guest with the Comedy Store Players, both at the Comedy Store in London and on tour. Early in the 1990s he appeared on many TV shows to the extent that he was a target of satire. For example, the Have I Got News For You 1991 annual showed images of the game from around the world, and each local variant featured Slattery as a guest. Spitting Image showed a sketch in which an anthropomorphized BBC2 logo refused to have blue paint splattered on it and Slattery intervened for the sake of publicity. The satirical magazine Private Eye once published a memorable cartoon depicting his answering machine with the outgoing message, Yes, I'll do it. In 1992 he appeared in the film Carry on Columbus. In the same year he appeared in the series Dead Ringer, filmed for the observation round in the Krypton Factor. It was during this period that Slattery also appeared in the BBC sci-fi comedy series Red Dwarf, in the episode Cree 10. Slattery here played the voice of the main character on Cree 10's favourite soap opera, Androids. Also in 1992 Slattery appeared as a contestant on Channel 4's now defunct show Games Master, in which he said that he hated video games, despite the show being entirely devoted to them. He played the real-time arcade shooter who shot Johnny Rock, failing the challenge by shooting an innocent victim in the game. In 1993 he starred in the ITV sitcom Just a Gigolo. Only one series was ever made. From 1993 to 1994 he was the host of the game show Trivial Pursuit. 
Personal problems later overshadowed Slattery's career, leading to a reduced profile. Due to an extended period of illness, he undertook only very occasional television work from the mid-1990s to the early 2000s. He reappeared in Red Dwarf in 1999 as the voice of a vending machine that threatens Arnold Rimmer in the final episode of the series. Only the good. In January 2005 Slattery appeared in the TV film Ahead of the Class with Julie Walters. In December 2005 he joined the long-running drama Coronation Street as Eric Talford and in April 2006 he appeared in Grumpy Old Men on BBC Two. In 2007 he appeared as a regular cast member in the ITV series Kingdom, playing the eccentric Sidney Snell, returning for a third series in 2009. In 2005 Slattery appeared in Series 7 of Bad Girls, as D.I. Alan Hayes, who was investigating the murder of Jim Fenner. Also in 2005 he won a celebrity edition of the game show The Weakest Link, beating Vanessa Felt in the final round. He announced at the end of the show that he would donate his prize money to the Terence Higgins Trust. He appeared as well in a cameo role in ITV's Life Begins as a Date for Maggie. In addition, he played the canon of Berkeley in the Robin Hood episode Show Me the Money on 17 November 2007. In January 2010 he appeared with Philly Delore on Ready Steady Cook. In March 2011 Slattery appeared in a reunion special of Whose Line Is It Anyway, along with Josie Lawrence, Clive Anderson and Neil Mullocky for the BBC comic relief show 24-hour panel People. Theatre. In 1981 he teamed with Richard Branch as a comedic duo calling themselves After Taste. For a number of years they toured throughout Great Britain performing in small venues. Theatres and clubs, most notably the Tunnel Club, King's Head Theatre in London and aboard the Tecla, then known as the Old Profanity Showboat, in Bristol. Together they hosted the Channel 4 Quiz the Music Game and over 100 episodes of Cue the Music on ITV. Possessing a baritone voice, Slattery has appeared on London's West End stages in the musicals Me and My Girl and Radio Times as well as in the play Neville's Island. In 1998, he was elected as rector of the University of Dundee. In May 2006 he was the first voice of the narrator in the 35th anniversary theatre production of Richard O'Brien's Rocky Horror Tribute Show, held at the Royal Court Theatre, just downstairs from the first ever showing of Rocky Horror. On 20-22 and 24 July 2010, he appeared in Key Longfellow Stance Hall and Vivian Stance Hall's Stink Footing Concert. Once again performing aboard the Tecla still moored in the Bristol City Docks. In 2014 Tony appeared in the Oxford Jericho, Name in the Hat, review alongside Chris Akabusi. Personal life. In the mid-1990s, after leaving Whose Line Is It Anyway, Slattery suffered what he described as a midlife crisis, triggered by excessive drinking and cocaine use, culminating in 1996 with a six-month period as a recluse, during which he did not answer his door or telephone, or open bills, or wash. I just sat. Eventually, one of his friends broke down the door of his flat and persuaded him to go to hospital. He was diagnosed as suffering from bipolar disorder. He discussed this period and his subsequent living with the disorder in a documentary made by Stephen Fry, The Secret Life of the Manic Depressive. In 2006, Slattery claimed that he spent time living in a warehouse and throwing his furniture into the Thames.